marginalized, party list system just expands terms of the powerful. The boxing champ turned senator has apparently quickly learned that one key way of thriving in traditional Philippine politics is to create alliances. For the midterm elections, Senator Manny Castillo is backing the congressional run of no less than three party list groups. OFW Family Club headed by his brother Alberto Casuayo, while Filipino Movement, one of the main sponsors of his recent bout in Las Vegas, and People's Ten Guardians, a spin-off of the political party that he and his wife, Jinky, founded in 2009. There's nothing subtle in the exchange, or at least not for the breed of politicians to which Casuayo now belongs. In the current landscape, Politicians endorse the candidacy of party list groups supposedly aligned to their cause or advocacy, or they themselves throw their hats into the ring to be part of the system originally intended for the marginalized and underrepresented sectors of Philippine society. For example, the third most powerful man in the government, Senate President Vicentito Sato III, has endorsed the party list group Lundiang Filipinas naturally because it is fielding his daughter, actress Cyrus Sato, as its second nominee. The group's first nominee is former employer Dave S. Chief Mikey Bass. For another example, the electionist Senator Sonny Angra has announced his alliance with an M.A. led by former Pangasinan Red. Gina Venetia, who is seeking a comeback in the House of Representatives after foregoing a run for her province's fourth congressional district in 2016. Contra Diaz List Vinesh's plan to regain a seat in the House fire the party list route is not unique to her. According to data from the election watchdog Contra Diaz, at least 25 party list groups are fielding nominees who are former lawmakers or local officials who have reached their constitutional limit of three consecutive terms. The groups fielding former House members as nominees are Feudal Farmers Party, You Against Corruption and Poverty, Macat. Angus Ola, Aiden Filipinas, Rukjma, Abono, Alex, Sinas, Anakulub and Andanwere. Those with nominees who are former local officials, incumbent or three-termers are, La Angkelm Filipinas, Tango Marilida, Kalutan Maypagata, Agat, Durani Madin, Unido, Sergio Sabayan Party, Anaskis, Agnesen, Avita, Salino Akalin Pinoy, Alebae, Akoan Bataya, Angnard and Bregan. Supreme Court ruling a number are among the 38 party list groups identified by a youth coalition as fielding nominees who are members of political dynasties, like Metro and Win Aeop. It's worth noting as well that certain business interests have likewise infiltrated the party list system. Two of these groups are Construction Workers Solidarity led by former public works under Secretary Romeo Momo Sr., who was implicated in the P427-Million Road scan in 2014, and Lynn Passman led by construction magnet and incumbent rep. Michael Romero, who, with a net worth of P7 billion, holds the distinction of being the wealthiest lawmaker. There is nothing in the law to stop politicians and even big business interest from taking part in the party list system. No less than the Supreme Court said in a landmark 2013 ruling that party list groups need not represent a marginalized and underrepresented sector. But according to Edwin Rosalt, one of the pioneer lawmakers in the party list system, the High Court ruling abandoned the spirit of the law that was meant to provide a marginalized voice in Congress and gave politicians and their families and allies the means to perpetuate themselves in power. Left square bracket is right square bracket legitimized what political dynasts were already doing, said Rosalt, who served as Austin's representative from 1998 to 2007. With that legitimization, it opens the floodgates to political families. So now you have several hundreds of families buying for positions through the party list system. There is nothing wrong with party list groups. To be able to gain power, Rosal said, power is not the problem. How power is utilized for the masses is what counts. No more pretensions in this election cycle, party list groups no longer have pretensions of being front of politicians and power brokers, Contra Gaia convener Danilo Rayo observed. Among the groups vowing to push policies supportive of the administration's programs and agendas, 
that have been endorsed by President Peter himself, or that are fielding relative in government positions as nominees are, Keo Muna, Marino, Arturo Sandugo, ACP-C, 1, Tyson Asso, Suter Fuse and AA-Casocio. We expect party list groups to be biased for the marginalized and underrepresented, Rayo said. It is means left square graphic being right square graphic critical of the administration, then so be it. If there are a lot of party list groups that would align themselves with the president, it's like saying that left square graphic be right square graphic is faultless when it comes to taking care of the marginalized and underrepresented. That is why voters should think hard when they cast the lone vote for a party list group on Monday, Rayo said. What is on the line is Congress independence, or whatever is left of it, he said, adding, left square bracket we may right square bracket end up with a mouthpiece for a rubber stamp for it, Congress. Do we want that? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.